pose. And I mean, I said it online and I'll say it again. He wasn't conditioned enough to win any pose. Yeah. You know, that's if you had someone like Steve or Tyler judging. Yes. He's not making a call out with that conditioning. No. And then to even speak on the his glutes. If you've seen the stream, he has lumps in his glutes. It was, ugh, it was like, man, would you like, are you done dieting here? It looks like. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like a lot of. <sighs> so that's why when I seen the scorecards, it was just kind of like, yo, he smoked me that bad with all that going on. I shouldn't yeah. compete. And, you know, and it took, you know, for my woman and even you know my coach and everything to be like, hey, ignore that. Ignore it. He was like, because in my head, like, like I said, I told him, I was like, yo, I think I'm done for a while. The Detroit Pro is this weekend. Man, I I think it's an I don't know if it's an easy one. It might be an easy one. I think based on your 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 structure, your shape, and everything you showed at the Arnold, you could win the show, just walk in there and do it. But I don't know if you're mentally ready to do it that quick and fly to Detroit. And what's your thoughts on jumping on the into the Detroit Pro? All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord. And we have a very special guest back on the podcast, IFBB Pro, Tony O'Burton, fresh off the Arnold Classic Brazil stage. Man, I really appreciate you coming on the show. This is the first interview that you're doing since coming back from Brazil and placing second at the Arnold Classic Brazil. Man, welcome back to the show. Oh, yeah, I was like uh, finally home and settled in, so... <laughs> Well, uh, I appreciate you coming in, and um, I got a lot of questions uh, for you. So we got lots to talk about, and um, so let's just jump into it. You know, just give me a recap of the 2024 Arnold Brazil. Um, when you were standing on stage next to Rafael Brandeo, did you think you were going to beat him, or did you be? Were you like, mm, you know, he is, he's got a little bit more size than me. Maybe I, I I can't take him. But like, what were your thoughts seeing him backstage and and battling him on stage? Um, honestly, um, going into the Arnold before even going into stage, I knew conditioning wise and, you know, being a uh, lean or whatever, I had him beat. Um, yeah. I was working out with him. Well, not with him, but yeah. we were using his gym. Okay. He has a private gym out there and, uh, he allowed us to train there until it was no longer okay to train there. Um, oh, okay. yeah, which is okay. cool. I get That's it. You know, competition, yeah. why not? Right. Yeah. So then, um, but that just told me too already where we're in this head, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, we get backstage and a lot of the athletes were cool. We're all talking with, you know, talking to each other and then we all lay down, whatever. But uh for some reason there was like tension already with him and I. You know what I mean? I didn't know what it was from or whatever, but I just yeah. you know, I just kept my distance. I talked to Flex, um, that was cool. I talked to his coach, we were cool, but whatever, whatnot, and then um once we stripped down. This is when, you know, it was a tell all. Like, when you've done this sport long enough, you can yeah. see where people are lacking, you know. Yeah. And everyone in this, not, I won't say everyone in the show, but we know, you know, my back shots are my best shots. Yep. And then and I'm looking at, you know, the waistline of everyone. I'm like, okay, I'm going to kill everyone with the abs and thighs, <clears throat> you know. Yeah. And with the most muscular, um, as far as anyone being too big to compete with the most muscular, I didn't feel like there was anyone like that. So I was actually, if you watch the video, the same shots they were hitting, I was hitting with them until they tried to switch out. And then I would just follow it too. Yes. You know, any shot. You know, that's why that's how you pick apart someone's weaknesses, right? Yeah. You know, you, you you follow it. And uh, but yeah, then once we got on stage and we're standing next to each other, it was night and day. Um yeah. from shots he's uh, anyone has posted, you can see that there was still you know from some body fat to lose and yeah. uh even on the back shots with the folds you know yeah let me so go. then yeah so once we we're on stage it was kind of one of those things where it was like oh yeah no this is this is in the bag you know and uh the problem with prejudging because i hear everyone saying oh it's because you know he didn't i didn't have enough oil <sighs> well at prejudging yeah no one had enough oil besides that's him. true Besides him, and yes, the favoritism role was okay crazy. I want like, to ask you, okay, like I mean, I don't want to sound like a like poor sport or anything. Like I, yeah. like I said, I've said this before. His physique and I, we have similar physiques. You know what I mean? Yeah, I knew it was gonna be a battle with him, so I didn't take it easy. But like 
when I say like backstage, he had like 10 people oiling him up. Yeah. They're even like rolling his face okay. to where we we're asking to get oiled and like we'll get a few pats here and there. And they're like, okay, you're good to go. Yeah. And then when they called us up to line up, we couldn't pump up no more, right? Yes. Well, he was down there still pumping up. And when the expediter lady was like, well, if he's not up here, then oh well. They stopped us from walking on and called him until he came before going on. So there was that. And then if you watch it, how many times he exited the stage because he couldn't breathe. Yes. He was, yeah, he was walking off stage and he was bending over because he couldn't breathe. And I walked over to get my forehead dried off. Yeah. And they told us no. It was like, no, you have to stay on the line. So I was like, all right, like, this is weird. Wow. Like, you see it, Vito actually wiped the sweat off my head for me. <laughs> yeah. Like... But you see it. But, um, oh, yeah, like, it, he, he was highly favored. I get his hometown. Yeah. But then Still. it was just, honestly, what, what, what rubbed me the wrong way was when we were doing our back double shots. And he okay. did his arm thing. You know, he held his arm out there so he couldn't pull out. And uh, I didn't get mad about it. This is bodybuilding. You know, I actually like yeah. that type of thing. Um, but when the expediter came up, he came to me and looked at me and said, yo, what are you doing? What are you trying to do? And so I was like, what? Like, all right, this is the game we're playing. Okay. Like, yes. Okay, now I get it. But um, I don't know. Like, you see it. Like, when we yeah. did the ab and thigh shot, he jumped right in front of me. Yeah, I had to he, move over. Yeah, yeah. You know, any other judge, like, if it was Tyler or someone, they would have told him to stop that, stay in your spot, and hit your pose. Okay, so who who was the head judge at this show? I thought Tyler or Steve was going to be there, but no, nah, it was a uh, Tamer. It was Tamer, so he was announcing and the head judge. Because I hear yeah. my microphone going crazy. I'm like, how are you focused? Like, I mean, Tamer's a great guy. You know, great judge. Nothing, no, not knocking him on anything. Um, you know, I I just I don't I don't want to get into it about you know my thoughts on you know him being the the head judge at this show. I think it would have been better to have Tyler Mannion or Steve at the show, judging the show. Um, from what I saw, obviously you were in better condition than Raphael. Good Vito was in better condition than Raphael. Uh, oh yeah. You and good Vito both came out in pre-judging with basically the, no oil on somehow mir miraculously Raphael was perfectly oiled for pre-judging. Now it makes sense. Now the truth comes out about why that happened. All the other competitors Basically, no oil. Raphael, favoritism, has the oil. That should not happen. You guys all work hard for this. It shouldn't be favoritism. I know it's Brazil. I know there's some politics at play there. But at the end of the day, Raphael wasn't in shape. This is his hometown. He has, he has right. a hometown advantage. Yes, you were there training and and, and there as, as well. But this is his hometown. He had more time to, to kind of prep it on his home base. Come in more conditioned than he did at the Arnold, Ohio, and he didn't. He did. I don't yeah. know why. Like, dude, you have all the opportunity. This is Brazil. is your home country, man. Bring it. Bring the heat. And he didn't. And I want to show you the scorecards. Okay. Here. Oh, yeah. I seen that. <laughs> so he beat you by what? Six points? Yeah. Five points? Yeah, by, uh, by six points. Six points. Sorry, yeah. And like... I was like, okay, let me look at the scorecard. It's going to be close. It's going to be like a one point, six points. Nah, they, they said he smoked me. So it was one of those things where it's like, it's his hometown. And honestly, mm -hmm. and nothing against the judge. I don't know who the judges were. I've yeah. never seen any of them before. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think they're all from Brazil. Yeah. But, That's um, what I thought. Yeah. The crowd, I feel like, chose, their, chose the winner. Um, yeah, bro. When I say it was loud, like okay. they were louder than the music. I couldn't you know? hear because and they didn't. Have, they didn't. We couldn't. They weren't displaying the crowd noise for some reason. So yeah, I did. I had no clue the crowd was. Oh, it's when he walked on stage for his routine. It yeah. sounded like a concert. Okay, and then when anyone else walked out, crickets. Okay, like quiet. <laughs> So I was like, wow, you know, that's a mind, you know, mind fucking. Yeah, thing. holy. But okay. then when you're uh when he's calling out all these places, yep. and uh he's calling out for second place, you know, I'm thinking I'm like, okay, there's no way we're not walking with this one. Like he's out of shape. He didn't he wasn't prepping, like I was like, there's there's no way, you know what I mean? And uh all you hear is rafa, rafa, and they're like 
loud to where I looked at the crowd and I was like, yo, if he doesn't win, it might real it, get bad. It, it might be true. It might be bad. Yeah. You know, because even before, like uh, a, a few videos that Dragon posted, you yeah. hear people say, do you have your security with you? Because yeah, if you man. win, it's going to be bad. And I didn't, you know, believe it. I'm like, oh, here's the joke. Like, whatever. Yeah. But no, nah, like I even had a few Brazil people from Brazil come up to me when I went to use the bathroom or oh. um, before finals. They're saying it, you know, if this was anywhere else, you would win. But because it's Brazil, he's going to win. And it would be bad if he didn't. And I'm like, yo, is this that? Like, that's serious? It is, man. It is. Like, I, I thought if if you won, like, there, if he lost, there may be, like, some riots in the streets because it's that crazy. It's like football. It's like, it's like they're just crazy, mm -hmm. right? And nothing and wrong with that. Say. Yeah. They said it would be a riot. <laughs> yeah. So, man, I just... It, there's nothing you can do about it. You you know in your your heart and your mind, you beat him. I I think you beat him. There's people online saying no, no, Raphael was bigger and fuller. He outsized him. He outshaped him. I I just come on guys, your your aesthetics are better. Your symmetry is better from the front lat, the front double bicep. The way you have the more X frame, he has more size, but he doesn't display it properly where he's doing the front double bicep and the front lat spread. His legs are a little narrow, straight up and down where you right. pop them it's out like, a little bit. I noticed that. I, so I look at people's posing and yeah. uh, we have similar posing when we hit our front double. Yeah. But I noticed his is with no energy. So yes. it's, just, it, it's, it's a bad way to put it, but it looks like a lazy pose. Yeah. So that's then that's why I'm like, okay, I'm going to get him because I'm going to bring excitement to that pose. Do so you that's how I pick it apart. Okay, so if people are saying, okay, so what poses did you beat him in? Did you beat him in all the poses, or do you think he beat you in some poses? No, I definitely think uh, side tricep is his all the way. Okay. Um, so I have injuries from football to where I can't rotate my shoulders back. Okay. Because so I was saying on that. I caved in all the yes, time. Yes, I was saying, man, you yeah. got to fix that side tricep. You got to twist a little bit more and open up, and then so you can show the side cuts on the chest there and the, right. more of the uh, uh, obliques in there, but... Try, try and twist it. I mean, I know your coach, you're coaching, you're probably working with someone on that, but like just try and twist it because that's a shot you can beat people. And if you're just hitting it a little bit better, that's it. Right. But you're yeah, saying it's you just, that. like I said, it's just the injuries. Yeah. So I'm trying to, like, I can turn more. Yes. But it's still, my shoulders are going to be rotated. I'm not going to be able to open them up. But then just, I mean? just twist more because it'll give you a little bit more thickness from the, like, it'll show more of this part of your body when you're right. doing the side tricep that way. And it'll just open you up a bit more because that's how Raphael's hitting. He's twisted a little bit more. Even if you're hunched over, you're still twisting a little more. It's just going to give you a little bit more depth yeah. there. So, uh, yeah, because you can beat people in that shot. Like, damn, I was like, man, if he hit that. Yeah, that's by far, like, probably my weakest pose ever. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I even told people, like, he definitely beat me with the side tricep all yeah. the way. But any other pose, and I mean, I said it online, I'll say it again. He wasn't conditioned enough to win any pose. Yeah. You know, that's. If you had someone like Steve or Tyler judging, yes, he's not making a call out with that conditioning. No, and then to even speak on the his glutes, if you've seen the stream, he has lumps in his glutes. It was, ugh, it was like, man, would you like? Are you done dieting here? It looks like, <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like a lot of. <sighs> so that's why when I seen the scorecards, it was just kind of like, yo, he smoked me that bad with all that going on, and I shouldn't yeah. compete. And, you know, and it took you know for my woman. And even you know my coach and everything would be like, "Hey, ignore that, ignore it." He was like, "Because in my head, like, like I said, I told him I was like, Yo, I think I'm done for a while." I was like, "If no. that's what's beating me, I need to stop for a minute." So I mean, it, it did get deep, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, it, it gets emotional. I get, I get it because you put so much into this. You're in Brazil. You're invested into it, and then you see this happen, and you're like, "Man, there's nothing I can do." Like this is Brazil. This is like, what can I do? So don't. Right. It's not you. We know it's not you. The fans know it's not you. The Brazilian fans were going to say whatever they're going to say. The other fans are like, you smoked him by a mile. It was you. You beat him. It's obvious. There's right. politics here. There's nothing we can do. Don't let that put, bring you down, man. You you have so much. You look at how much your trajectory is going up here. Second at the Arnold Brazil. Should have won it. Definitely won it. Politics came in play. Whatever. Move on to the next show. So that don't let it get to you, man. You're, you, you're Dexter Jackson 2.0. I keep saying that. <laughs> and as you get bigger and put on some more, more stuff. So that's a question. Um, what was your stage weight here at the Arnold versus New York pro? Oh gosh. So New York pro, um, I was 
217 morning of New York Pro last year. Yeah. But I mean, if we're being honest, I wasn't as crisp either. Okay. Like, yes. And more to New York Pro lighting was better. Yes, that's the thing. People compare the photos and say which version is better. I see who's who's uh bodybuilding or who's better bodybuilding. Yeah. Instagram. They posted you side by side, and I'm like, well, the lighting is way better at the New York Pro. So he's right, he's gonna look better there. You can't right. compare. Yeah, and I mean the lighting was better, and then it's two versions of a front double. But yeah. when so I'd rather go off of Olympia because I was yeah. just as shredded, if not, you know, a little bit less shredded than what I am now. Yeah. But uh Olympia I was two two twelve, two fourteen point okay. eight or yeah. something like that. Okay. And what six months, five months later, we're two twenty two. Two twenty two on the Bra yeah. final Brazil. Wow. Okay. Brazil. And it's funny because a certain someone decided to talk, you know, a little bit of mess saying yeah. we didn't put on any size. Well, he'll be shocked if we're over 220 or whatever, you know. Yeah. And I knew it was him just trying to get in my head before the show because that's who this? decided this to do Nick it. Walker? No, 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 no. Okay. Nick? Okay. Okay. About Nick Walker. We're going like, to get into it's Nick. Funny. Nick. We're actually Nick. cool. Like, yeah, I know. I talked to him. Yeah. He's like, it's this all good, all, all fun. And, and no, yeah. This, this, so, I mean, the fans are taking it to the extreme. But as far as me and Nick Walker go, like, yeah, during my peak week, during my prep, he was checking on me the whole time. Yeah. Asking me how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, what he thinks, everything. Yeah. He was sitting there. He was also seeing my check-ins. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, me and Nick are cool. But yeah. um, as far as uh, like, what was I saying? Um, the weight difference or whatever. Yes. A certain person who was uh, hating on it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you, it's in, I, forget, I think the Brazilian page posted and that's where he commented that. Okay. And we went back and forth for a little bit and Justin like brushed it off because I guess he doesn't like Justin either. Okay. So, I mean, it's all good, but uh, yeah. it was just one of the things where you know, we proved a lot of people wrong. A lot of people say we wouldn't make these big changes, and sure. it's night and day. It you is. Know? The chest, the biceps, the legs, the midsection stay the same, back is forward. And we're just going to continue to do the same thing. And that conditioning, too, <clears throat> was sharper. Like when you're hitting your back shots and you're transitioning and you're pulling back, and then you can see the Christmas tree, and then you, it's destroys Brandale and it was just like it just reminds me of the pros back in the early 2000s Dexter and stuff Ronnie when they pull back you see that perfect Christmas tree like right. you have that man that's like man I just it's sad to to see what happened there but what give me your thoughts on good veto you got to stand next to him second. you should have got second you should have yeah. got second you could have beat uh, that conditioning was ridiculous yeah. and I mean his glutes were the most shredded yeah yeah. hamstrings most shredded you know what i mean so i think his posing is what also yeah. holds him back yeah um because his front double is perfect yeah. but it's when he hits his back shots it's like a i don't know it's almost like he squats too low or not, i don't know what it is but so he's it's weird he's, it's weird he's not putting his leg back one leg back he's just put both feet side by side and he's hitting the lat spread and it looks weird and then he's doing the god got you yeah so it's, I, I don't know why he does that, but yeah, he could fix that a lot by putting one leg back. Um, you can see his back thickness. He doesn't have the 3D muscle like you do where it pops out like a turtle shell, like it's mm -hmm. popping out. He's just more flat across the back. So he just needs to improve that. He, there was no, there's no way he was beating you. I, I saw it. It's like, no, he's not, he, he's not, he, maybe he's got conditioning a little bit better and a little drier, but yeah, that was about it. Right. Yeah. I think that's what I saw. I mean, when they had him and I do a call out together. In my head, that was it was one and two right there. Yeah. Uh, because they had him and I, then they had him and Rafa, then me and Rafa do it. Which I don't know why they did it. But, yeah. You know, but Th that was another thing yeah, too. I mean, like that was weird. They brought. I think it was a hype thing because both of them are from Brazil or both of them live in Brazil. Yeah. And they consider them that too. You know. So. Okay. I think uh, it was a hype thing. Okay. You know, let's get it loud in here for them. Because yeah. I mean, like I said, like. I've never heard the bass from fans' voice before. It was so loud. <laughs> That's crazy. So yeah. if yeah. I recommend anyone to go experience it in that light. Yeah. But I mean, for competition wise, without me even saying anything, I don't think any Americans are wanna go to are going to want to go to Brazil. If if he's competing or if the top runner in that show is Brazilian, right. It doesn't make sense. I get it. But if it's not, then definitely go do the show. Especially now yeah. you have you have fans there now. People do they know you and I think it would make sense, depending on who's doing it next year, to jump back in that show because you can make that a you know. that was a question too. Uh what was the prize money for first and second? 
Um, I think honestly, I don't know. Um, I think last year was just what it's regular 10 K Okay. because our dollar is five of theirs. Um, so it was yeah. like 50 mil. So it's about 10 K. Okay. So just like a normal pro show basically. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so you're training in Brazil. How long were you in Brazil? Um, so I went out there for a week. I left for a week and a half and went back for three and a half weeks. Three and a half so weeks. So pretty much a month. <laughs> a month. And yeah. you're you're with Dragon Pharma and you're training with what's his name? Joanne? Joan? Yeah, Johan. Johan, sorry. Yeah. How was it training with him in his training style versus how you were training back home? What did you learn? Um, man, his intensity is different. Rest times were like non-existent for the most part um, okay he'll let you, it's like he watches you the whole time so it was like you'll do your set and as soon as he sees that chest move you know three to five times okay yeah. we're back in it so okay. you know i learned to take deep breaths in between my uh sets right yeah but um nah he's his intensity is way way better and like yeah. you do a set and if you hit the number he wants you to hit it's okay we could do it again but let's go a little heavier and you okay. hit that number again okay we're gonna go again Okay. And then once you're like, okay, I'm falling short of this number and he's forcing these reps, now the sets have started. Okay. So, yeah, it's completely doing I mean, each wow. exercise, we're probably doing six, seven sets. Okay. And just intense, like just going, you know. Um, and the whole time, as soon as your form collapses, he corrects you. So okay. it's different when you're by yourself and it happens. But when yeah. you have someone telling you, hey, chest up, and you get back into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And his his thing is uh, my Cinco. So it's five more. Okay. And uh, it's funny too because I actually got it tatted on my uh, wrist. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so I don't know, like being with Johan uh, every day, you know, um, whether it was training or I was staying at his uh, second apartment he has. Yeah. You know, and every day he was calling me, asking me if I need anything, groceries, bringing me food, whatever. Um, he was yeah. taking care of me, you know. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, he we definitely built that a strong bond, you know. Like on one of my posts today, he actually said uh he sees me like a son. So yep. <laughs> and you know, as and I told him like it's cool because I seen him yep. the same way, you know, a yep. father figure. So yep. yeah, we're definitely a lot closer. So that's that's awesome. And to have that bond as well makes a huge difference. And so now that you're back home, are you gonna follow his training philosophy? Or is there anyone in the gym that's pushing you? Do you have a training partner that can kind of do that for you? Or like what's the plan now going into your next show, which we're gonna talk about in a second here? But before we have to say anything, I just want to know what your training style is gonna be here now back in the US. Um, I think now knowing obviously I can't do my own force reps, yeah, but I can skip the failure every time. Okay. And even though I felt on, you know, a set three or four times, doesn't mean I can't drop a little bit of weight yeah. and rep out as many as I can again. Okay. So because of him, my workouts are going to be different. I okay. will be doing a lot more, you know what I mean? And just seeing the changes that happened from the day I got yeah. there to when I ended, the size I came. Yeah. I was like, it was just unreal. Yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely going to uh, change now because of him Good. and, uh, I'll be tagging him and everything still because, yes. you know, his style and uh, he helped me get here. So, yeah, man, that's awesome. And for your prep for the Arnold Brazil, how much cardio were you doing per day, basically? Um, it's funny. So Justin had me doing, uh, what, 40 minutes of cardio. So I was walking to the mall to the gym to do cardio. Okay. And then I was walking back, you know, back okay. to my place. So it's okay. probably coming out to about an hour worth of uh, okay. cardio. Okay. Good. But, um, if I'm doing stairs and if I got a good sweat going, I'll yeah. keep going. Good. You know, okay. I'm that I'm sweating. This is working. Okay. You know, once it's like, okay, you're not sweating no more. You're doing more harm than good. Okay. So then that's when I get off. So I was giving myself probably an extra 15, 20 minutes of cardio sometimes. Okay. And then I was do 30 minutes, depending on how we, we feel, 30 minutes after my workout as well on the stairs. Okay. You so, know, a lot of body. So you're doing, man, that's close to two hours then. You're doing. Oh, yeah. You know, and Good. I don't burn yeah. muscle either. So I'm like, no. why not take advantage of this? No. <laughs> People, they're scared of that. If, if you're not dieting properly, you're not eating properly. Yeah, you're going to lose muscle. But if you eat enough mm -hmm. protein, taking the right supplementation, uh, you can do two hours of cardio and get shredded. And that's how the guys do get the glutes like you, the Christmas tree in like you because they're doing the right amount of cardio that you can't. Right. Some people can do 30 minutes of cardio, 45, and that's it because they're just genetic freaks like Dexter Jackson. Although yeah. he had to start doing more cardio as he got older, but it's just like at the end of the day, Ronnie Coleman was a genetic freak, but he had to do two hours 
Jay Cutler had mm -hmm. two hours. So it just varies between. So I look at guys like Samson, like I, I kind of harsh harp on Samson about doing a 30, 45 minutes cardio. I'm thinking that's going to get it. No, man, you got to do that two hours. You got to fucking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got to think about it. When I talk to Nick, you know, as big as he is and his yeah. condition is so great, yeah. he's doing stairs for cardio. Yes. And, you know, you see, you ask other bodybuilders what are they doing? They say, oh, we walk the treadmill. And it's kind of like, and he's trying to compete with, nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just don't know how to suffer. Like, you fucking, it's got to be right. just like, oh, I can't, I don't want to be on this fucking stair mill and just sweating and just like, that's what oh, it yes. takes, man. Yeah. Suffering was a big thing. Like I said, like, I was on the phone with my woman, like, mm -hmm. yo, I'm going to kill Justin because he's trying to starve me. <laughs> he's not letting me drink any water today. <laughs> oh, wow. okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> What what was your calorie intake for the prep roughly range? Um, oh man, I I honestly I don't even know. Uh, we were more most so he just sends me my grams that I take and everything, okay. and we just do that. But towards the end of peak week, it was our weight was up, so we knew we were going to be higher in weight because I think the beginning of peak week I was like two twenty eight, two twenty seven, so it was like okay, let's pull down as much as we can. And uh, we'll fill back out. Yeah. And it's crazy because at the beginning of prep, he called it already. He was like, we'll be on stage about 225, 220. We're winning. And we hit 222. And I was like, I mean, we would have won if it wasn't in Brazil. But yes. like, he does it every time, you know. So yeah. that's when I know. Like, awesome. okay, this is this is dream team right here. Yeah. Yeah, you, I, you and Justin, I'm going to talk about that. And I'll jump into that's a question I have later about you and Justin. Um, for sure. You know, you guys are, it's working. So formula's working, getting bigger every year with him. So keep that going. Question, the Detroit Pro is this weekend. Man, I I think it's an, I don't know if it's an easy one. It might be an easy one. I think based on your, your, your structure, your shape and everything you showed at the Arnold, you could win the show, just walk in there and do it. But I don't know if you're mentally ready to do it that quick and fly to Detroit. And what's your thoughts on jumping on the, into the Detroit Pro this weekend? Oh, um, I think, Honestly, I love competing, you know, yeah. so mentally I'm always ready to compete. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> but um, so the problem with Detroit Pro is not only is it so, I mean, the shape I'm in, I've already talked to Justin and he's he's with it. He's down to do okay. it. But remember, the IFBB had put in a deadline. And I believe it's the month, the last or the Monday before the show is oh. uh, it. So they give you a week. Okay. In Detroit being Sunday, we're inside of that. Yes. So I did reach out to Tyler. You did, okay. And I emailed him saying, "Hey, is I'm emailing you about Detroit Pro. If it's cool if I get into it." Um, Arnold didn't work out as you know planned. Things yeah. went sideways, but this is why I'm reaching out to you to see if we can you know do so. And I do yeah. understand that there's a deadline. Okay. So I mean, it's in his hands now. So okay. Well, shit, he says me... yeah, then. We'll be there. <laughs> I, I guess you could fly out Thursday. It's it's Wednesday today, so you'd have to maybe tomorrow to fly out. Maybe even Friday. I don't know. That's cutting it close. Yeah, well. I would do because I mean, when flights like that, I don't hold water, so I'm not okay. worried about that. Okay. But I did, you know, say it would be Thursday night, Friday morning. You could still, but if anything after that, it will be pushing it. <sighs> okay. Uh, because I'm gonna try and get this interview out today. Um, so people can see and kind of get that going for you, man, because I think that would be awesome. You, uh, Fuad's struggling with that show. Uh, I don't know why more pros aren't doing the show. Some people were saying they didn't know it was, you know, on the roster earlier in the year or something like that. I don't know. Nah, he announced, I mean, everybody knew about Detroit before Olympia. Okay. So that's. Yeah. He's been, no, him and Ben have been doing their thing. Letting it be known. Even backstage at Olympia after finals, of course, when everybody was done. Yeah, telling them about it. Okay. So yeah, I know everybody knew about Detroit. There's no way you couldn't know. It was all it's all over. Okay. You know? So so that's nothing to do with that promoting it improperly or anything like that. It's just and there's more prize money, twenty five thousand. That'd be a nice paycheck for you too. Like, come on, twenty five right. k. So I mean, uh, man, I hope Tyler lets you do that show. I mean, we need it. Sport needs it. Um, there's not that many competitors in here. I can't see them being well. It's Monday. You're past the deadline. I'm sorry. I don't think we can do it. Like, why? Who cares? It's just body. Like, it's not. 
not the Olympics. Right. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's, I mean, probably because, like, if you think back to previous years, mm. people were waiting till last minute, you know, yeah. day before, you know, two days and, like, jumping in. So then it's kind of like, all right. So I see why they would do it, you know, put a deadline in. Yeah. But at the same time, I do understand that people really don't, you know, care for it. Yeah. But, you know, rules are the rules, you know. Yeah. So that's right. why you know, I did send that respectful okay. email to him because, you know, I understand. Yeah. Okay. No, it's respectful and uh, the right way to do it. And see if he says yes. Um, makes right. Sense Hopefully that. he says yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Please, Tyler Mannion. This, uh, <laughs> the, the sport needs it, man. This is it would be, It's going to make that show that much better. Um, mm -hmm. so I haven't had three or four guys in the show. That's like, oh, come on, man. That's a, this is not a good look. So anyways, um, let's talk about the New York pro. So let's say you go to Detroit, you qualify, you're still doing a New York pro. hundred percent. hundred percent. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not even a question. Right. Um, I mean, honestly, that shows I want to do after New York too. Okay. I, we we're going to yeah. ask you that I too. I love to compete. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. That's good. Cause that's how the pros used to do it back in the day and they kept that conditioning and that's what the difference now seems like one show a year and then that's it. No, you can do three or four shows a year, I think is okay. Any more than that, I think you're starting to push your body, especially if you were in this at the stage you are where you're still trying to get bigger. You may not want to mm -hmm. do as many shows, but three, four, okay, done for the year. Right. Type thing. Oh, yeah. And then that's why I've had to talk multiple times too. Like, I mean, even if it came to, you know, let's say winning the Olympia, yeah. I would be one of those who compete multiple times yeah and not that's only awesome. that i'm gonna call out more people to come and do it yes you know that's what fans want to see you want to see it so yeah you know you want to see nick walk on stage multiple times you want to see yeah. samson you want to see Derek. but yeah i mean i'm glad Heidi and uh, samson did it you know what i mean yeah no that so was... i mean yeah no it's good yes you're in it you're a pro this is what your job is like do it mm -hmm. right and I talked to Samson about that too. And he was like, man, we only got so much time in the sport. Exactly. Have you fun. So, yeah. And then that's when I was like, you damn right. <laughs> I'm yeah. doing multiple. Yeah. yeah. And you get, and you get, you get make money. So it's like, this is your job. You know, you got to make some money. Right. Here, so, right. So, um, so uh, I, did, I did the interview with Nick Walker and uh, he had some stuff to say about you. Uh, he's like, uh, I said, are you, is, is Tony going to beat you to, at the New York pro? And he's like, Come on, man. You know, you know, <laughs> like, Tony is the size of my arm here. So uh, what are your thoughts? What's your response to Nick Walker in calling you out saying, no, nah, no threat, not going to happen? Uh, I mean, it's funny. Um, like I said, I've always looked up to Nick, uh, even though he's younger than me. I've always yeah. looked up to him and, you know, wanted to. He's been in places I'm trying to go to. Yeah. But, you know, at the same time, you know, sometimes the little brother comes in and beats the big brother. Yes. Right. So he knows that it's not just going to be this walk in the park. You know what I mean? No, no. <laughs> he, and he, a few people say like, oh, it's going to be a walk in the park. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to be that mugger that comes in. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to New York. Um, I feel like what's going to have me battle with Nick is bringing similar conditioning, if not, you know, a better conditioning. Shape wise, I, I got it. You know, yeah. structurally, I, I have it. He does have muscle. I can't compete yeah. with that. You know what I mean? But um, there's some shots where, I put it this way. How many people have I competed against that way? I weighed me by 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds. Yeah, you beat Crizzo, uh at the Olympia. You beat, who else was bigger than Wade Morning on stage? Everybody did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you were, well, that was Olympia. You said you were 212 at the Olympia? Yeah. So, yeah, like, okay, yeah. 222, and you have more time mm -hmm. to maybe, we'll see what, your coach does to just bring you in a little fuller to try and battle um, um Walker, but then Nick also has the size and conditioning, so it's kind of like, I think you just go with that conditioning game. Just that's your, your oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go with that. Yeah, I would never play the size. Like, size game is cool, but I'm Nick is what two seventy two eighty. Yeah, he's gonna be he said he's gonna I'm be on stage two sixty two sixty two on stage probably. Yeah, I'm not going to play a size game with that. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> So that good, good, good. What did Raphael weigh on? Did you know what his stage weight was then? Um, no, I believe someone posted something about him being 250, okay, uh, 240 something or whatever, but which tells me, you know, if he was stage ready, yeah, he would have been a lot closer to that 225, 230 mark. 230, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, in a lot of the shots, he didn't even look bigger than me. No, he didn't. Back shots didn't not at all, didn't look bigger. Mm -hmm. 
um, maybe in the front of a bicep because he's a bit taller, right? Yeah, he's a little taller, yeah. Yes, that's the only one where maybe it looks a little... But your front lat spread, I had you winning the front of a bicep. I had you winning all the poses except the tricep pose, mm -hmm. and that was it. So right. that's still enough to win. So it's just, you know, the size, the fact that he's 30 pounds, potentially heavier than you, it does not look like that at all. Right. That's why when I hear, you know, the fans like, oh, he's way bigger. I'm like, nah. how many shows does it take to prove that size doesn't matter? It doesn't. And that's <laughs> it what matters, they were saying. It doesn't. They were saying that's why he beat you because he was bigger and it had the shape. So that was a not, no. <laughs> no, not at all. That's just that them giving, making an excuse for it. Oh, yeah. And I and I haven't seen Tyler Manning come out with the show with the recap of like here's why this person won. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna stay away from this one? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't know. Other than what's he gonna say? I, I do like Ralph's structure. Like his shape yeah. is nice. Yeah, he has his nice balance shape. is nice. I do give him that, but I just can't, you know, jump on the whole being stage or anything. His mm -hmm. conditioning wasn't there. You know, I honestly I felt more for Vito. Because yeah. I've seen how upset Vito was. You know what yes, I mean? Yes, was. He's and having I think a great time. Vito, he was thinking the same thing I was thinking. Yeah. It was him and I. This was one and two. He was like, man, I got you. Yeah. Like, yeah, you've seen it in his face. Yes. So, that, I mean. Man. It was that obvious. Because in the live stream, you get to see a little bit. But it's like it's not like in person. If you're in person, you can see the detail and the density of your muscle. And right. The so That's why Justin posted uh, the pictures. So he posted pictures where Rafa was closer to the camera at yes. the angle he was at. And then he posted where I was closer because he didn't want it to look like, you know, um, he's only getting good shots of me type of thing. Yeah. But I mean, you see it clear as day and I was yeah. prejudging. Yeah. So, I mean, oil or no oil, you can tell when someone's lean. Yeah. You know, I mean? the, the live stream doesn't judge the show. No, no. I, I think when I, I, I messaged you, I said, hey. After pre I said, put some more oil on for yeah. well, your fault now that I know it was like whatever happened backstage, but it did make you pop, like just pop more. It definitely does help. It makes you look oh, yeah. like flat and stuff. And it, you just look like, a, I was like, there's no way. Like now, okay, finals, he's winning. Like this is it. In pre judging, it was like maybe because you didn't look like you were popping as much and you didn't have as much oil on, which was probably strategy now that you told me that um, backstage wise. Because uh, but even in the the, the, the scorecards didn't didn't matter. It was the same. So it was like right. everything stayed the same. Yeah. And then because I feel like if that's what hurt me prejudging, then my score at final should have been better. Should have been better. Like so either they didn't rejudge it, yeah, or rescore it, or you know, whatever. You but just uh, kept it, yeah. Yeah, I think um because Justin had to go backstage and pull one of the people and told them to oil me. Good. And then okay. when they try to walk away, he grabbed him again and was like, uh-uh, some more. <laughs> Jeez, so, man. you know, wow. I, I needed Justin backstage to do that for me. Good. You know man. what I mean? Good so coach. that's what I say. He, he came through a lot. Like, yeah. He made sure, like, no, nah, we're going to do this one, do it the right way. But yeah. again, like, you know, in the league, you can't walk off stage and go get yeah. your breath. You know yeah, what I mean? No, I didn't. Like... We couldn't even get Pat dry. At first, he was telling us no. But why? Yeah, the, it's like that's the standard. That's just normal. You just pat down yeah. and get you guys to look good again and get back out there. Like that's what I told him. I was like, I need to get the sweat. And yeah. He was like, no, you need to stay on the line. So I said, oh, all right. <laughs> and that's why you see me when we're posing now. Like as we're posing, I'm like wiping sweat oh, out of my man. eyes because I can't see. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. Well, I'm glad it's coming out that you know there's reasons why certain things happen, and now we know why th this happened. So I uh, appreciate you letting everybody know. Um, I was going to ask just a little bit more about the New York pro and Nick Walker. So pose for pose. So you, first off, you say, I'm going to beat Nick Walker. You're going to the oh, show. Yeah. I wouldn't beat. do it okay. if I didn't, if I was going for second, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm not exactly. fighting. Okay. I'm not going to fight super second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So then it pose for pose, which poses are you going to beat him in? Um, honestly, I think. Um, anything that's going to show structure, so front double, yeah. um, front lat, I think yeah. back double, back lat, side chest, he will definitely run with, most muscular he'll run with, um, side tricep, I haven't really seen his side try, but uh, I, I'll give that one a toss up, you know, yeah. um, I know he can't rotate, you know, that 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 good, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. you know, he's a robot too, but um, yeah. Avent I, I run with that, yeah, yeah. Um, 
so yeah, like I said, like it's just it's, it really comes down to who's going to be most most conditioned. And he he can't do the vacuum. You can do the vacuum in some of your shots, so I think that's a little bit of a benefit. He's been practicing it. I, I he's probably <laughs> gonna try and <laughs> I see him practicing it. <laughs> He's probably gonna try to do hey, that. He's practicing too. Okay, so that's the new thing, and I think it's it's good if you can show that. Um, that's a, that's a benefit. Hottie's killing it doing the vacuums now. Yeah, so I think so. it's good to show it. Yeah, but again, at the same time, bodybuilding is about muscle, not necessarily yeah. bones. Yeah, I agree. You know, I, I mean, I I saw the Milos post about uh vacuum. He posted Nick oh, Rock. That's right. He did post. say that. Yeah, it's like it's not a bone show. It's about your abs. I mean, I got. I disagree with that. I think the vacuum does display Nick's walk, Nick Walker's waistline better. It makes, and it really makes him look different. It looks like a different bodybuilder right. vacuum versus just the abs showing. So I think you can do both, pull in the vacuum and then like how do you show the abs too while you're doing it? Do both. And that's what I was doing at Arnold. Yes. I showed long gators. Yeah. I showed a little bit of crunch. Yeah. Where I, how I first used to hit it, and that's where the Dexter thing came from. Yeah. Then I pull it with the vacuum. So I showed three different variations yeah. of it. So. so you can do everything. So at least you got that on him. We'll see what he brings. See if he can do the vacuum. <laughs> I don't oh, I'll, I'm a challenge him. <laughs> yeah, challenge him. Be like, you do, show, do it on, be like, pull it in and be like, see if he does it. And be like, ah, I know he's not going to do it. Man. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Um. So, okay. So if you don't do the D Detroit... And, and then you do New York in some way, Nick beats you, whatever. What's the next show that you would want to jump into to uh, qualify for the Olympia? Um, uh, I mean, you have Cal, that's a week later, um, which is actually closer to home. Then where you have, still have Chicago, you have Texas, Tampa, yeah, still to come up too as well. So yeah. I've always wanted to do Texas Pro. Um, we just always qualified before then. Yeah. So I didn't really jump into it, but um, I mean, there's still Cal uh, yeah. to do, and then um, Legion Sports Fest is here in Reno, and okay. I think that's a qualifier for the next year's event. Okay. So I mean, hometown it would be fun to do, and yeah. just to have that on you know that security to where it's like I'm already qualified. Yeah. And then I could really have fun, you know, getting there. So I don't yeah. know. It's just at this point, it's. As wild as I want to run and just jump into everything, yeah. I still have to listen to Justin. Yes. <laughs> and and that, that's going to lead me into my next question. So regardless, you're gonna, I think you're going to qualify um, before the Reno show. So I don't think you're going to have to do that. But yeah. um, so you're going to be at the Olympia this year. Guarantee it 100%. I know you're going to be on that stage. And moving up from that eighth position to maybe creeping into the sixth. We'll see. I think you got oh, the yeah. tools. I mean... I think if you stood next to Brandon Curry, I think, you know, he was fourth last year that you could mm -hmm. take him. Like, I don't see why not. You got, you got better legs, you got better glutes. So he, uh, he actually talked to me last year's after last year's Olympia. Yeah. And uh, he said, just know we see you coming. Okay. He goes, they're just waiting to present your physique. Yeah. He's like, but we all see it coming. Yeah. And, you know, after hearing that, like, it just changed everything. It was yeah. like, okay. Keep just keep going with what I'm going with. Doing. Got you. That's awesome. They're definitely watching you. They definitely see you now, and uh, that you're a threat. And you that you went right up to that eighth position. Could have been maybe even higher. But wow, man, like uh, it's exciting. It's exciting to see a bodybuilder go from where you were to where you are right now. So right, it's awesome. It's been an awesome journey, man. And um, but so let's talk about your 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 coach Justin Jacob. When did you start working with Justin? So uh, after. New York. So what uh, New York was May. So about July, August, we got together. So just a year. Yeah. Like a, okay. Less than a year. Just, in, July, just July. under a year. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and then uh he prepped me for Olympia and then we got that. He told me too before we even like started, he said, if you trust or trust and do everything I tell you to do, you will be top ten at the Olympia. And, and I told him I said, All right, but I mean, you know, now we're going higher and better than top 10. Yes. You know, and uh, he said it to me. He's like, you know, I, I like the dog you have in you. You know what I mean? Yeah. He goes, I'm the same way. So just just be ready. Yeah. And, you know, for a coach to tell you that, it's kind of like, oh, this is game time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I just want to match my energy. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. And I mean, he came through. And anytime he changes my diet or, you know, bring in a supplement or a vitamin or whatever, it's like a long message talking about what it's for, what it does. This is why. And uh, so he's teaching at the same time. Yeah. He's not just coaching. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, each week we set a goal. You know, this is the weight we need to hit. And, you know, mentally knowing that you're going to fight to hit that goal. Yeah. But if you just give someone a diet, you're not telling them what it's for. Hey, all right, take this. This is to lose weight. You know, they're like, all right, but tell them, hey, this is going to make you drop about four or five pounds. They're going to end up dropping that weight. Yes. Like, mental is everything. Like, yeah. if you tell yourself you're going to come in shredded, you're going to come. Yes. Yeah. But I think people lack, lack the mental a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Well, that's great. And like, and are you the type of athlete that when he says do this, you're doing it to a T or are you like, well, I, I kind of know my body now. I'm just going to, you know, do a little bit of what he's telling me. Do you list? He's hundred percent in your hands or he's you're in his hands hundred percent and you do what he tells you to do. Oh yeah. I mean, there's times too where I'm like, yeah, if you want me eating like this little, like this yeah. uh, only 120 grams of rice. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Like I can handle carbs. You know what I mean? But at the yeah. same time, there's a reason behind his madness. And uh, it's one of those things where it's, I'm not going to challenge anything until I see it not work. Yeah. And everything he's done and told me to do and I do it, it's worked. So there's no reason for me to be like, well, I know my body too, though. Cause like um, anyone who knows me, like including my posing coach, the worse food I eat, the better I look, you know, okay. like, um, what was it? Uh, on one of the dragon videos, I ate three burgers, you know? Yeah. Just before peak week, and we woke up the next day even tighter. Tighter. So just... I had, had a... mm-hmm. Yeah, so I asked Justin, I said, hey, are we doing a, a a burger? Yeah. And he goes, probably not. Like, let's try this. And it's funny because he took the macros of a burger, uh-huh. but put it in healthier food, you know, with okay. chicken, okay. rice, and bacon. That's smart. Okay. And yeah. I noticed, and I'm like, well, maybe this might just work, you know what yeah. I mean? And... <laughs> clearly <laughs> yeah man. that's really smart i've never thought about it that way because yeah you're just getting the extra fats the extra carbs mm-hmm. that are in that burger and fries or whatever and it's just that's smart that's very really smart yeah yeah so i mean i don't know what cam jensen's all about but yeah, you know their shit over there you know their shit for sure <laughs> that's awesome that you teamed up with them um a couple more questions this is a good interview, good long interview. I'm getting lots of questions here, man. So I appreciate it. Uh, what's your expectations for the Olympia? What placing do you want to get? I'm top six. Top six. Okay. Yeah. I uh, even think we could do better in top six. Just like you said, you know, Brandon Cray walking with four, you know. Yeah. Um, now, but now, you know, you're going to bring Nick into the mix. Yeah. So I do still see Derek being a problem, Hadi being a problem, Samson and Nick being a problem. And Nick. And Anyone then- outside of them? Nah, not so much. I mean, don't get me wrong. Andrew Jack is a okay. whole new breed, you know, like he's a different animal. Yeah. But uh, as far as improvements being made, I don't, you know, he doesn't make many improvements. No, he doesn't. He's not reliable. You know, but like um, it's hard to compete with that front double he has. <laughs> yeah. But that's this <laughs> one shot, though. Yeah, that's yeah. this one shot. I haven't thought, yeah, but then you turn around and he's, the glutes aren't there, the hamstrings aren't there. Right. And, and then, I mean, Hunter Labrada, he's actually it's looking Hunter. like a whole different no, animal right now. Yes. Yes. You know, he's looking different, which tells me he's getting ready to do a show. There's a show he's yeah. picking out. It's probably going to be Texas Yeah, that he does. Um, Texas or Tampa. Yeah. But I can, I see him, you know, he has a sight on something to why he's, you know, with his madness. But, uh, oh, yeah. So out of that right there, yeah, definitely feel like we could jump into the top six. Yeah, I agree with that. And um, one little thing, too, I want to discuss, too, that Chris Cormier was kind of not – he was like making fun of your legs, but he was like, man. My legs are unreal? Yeah, he's like, just, <laughs> he, he's like, it's just the feathers. I want to see the feathers and quads and this like that. I don't see it. So what are your, what's your take on that and your response to Chris Cormier and, and the quads? I mean, I just never hit my, any shot like that where yeah. I'm put, locking the, my knee out. Yeah. Uh, all, all my shots are just me tearing the floor apart. Yes. You know, yeah. that's what's bringing out my detail more than anything while my yeah. legs still look big. Yeah, I'm not a big dude, so why am I going to do that pose and make it look narrow? Narrow, yeah. So yeah. I, I'm not going to compete with no one like that. Yeah. So that's why I never hit that shot. And can, then, yeah. Well, go ahead. Say, when you hit the ab and thigh, can you crunch your leg down like Cormier posted on his? I think after that he posted on his Instagram him hitting the ab and thigh and he's crunching his leg down 
to show in that shot the feathers? Can you start doing that in your avant thigh shot, like crunch it down? Yeah, so uh, you yeah. know what? I was actually going to post a picture that I took in the gym with Johan where I did hit that shot and the yeah. feathers were there. Yes. But again, what's going to compliment my physique it's true. is true. me picking up my foot where yeah. my quads look bigger. It makes yeah. my waist look smaller. Yeah. You know, who, uh, Carlos Thomas also hits it the same way. Yes. You know what I mean? So, I mean, at the same time, like, he, he said it, and I talked to Chris, you know, all the time. Like, I knew it was just funny games. Yes. You know, I'm talking about this. Yeah. Um, but even when I did my story where I'm doing my uh, leg extensions, uh, you seen feathering through yeah, my so, Yes, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, it's there. I just don't do my shots. Okay. Way. Okay. All right. Well, I like to see it, even if it's just a shot on your Instagram or whatever you want to do, just just shut Chris up and uh, show him what's up. Yeah. Hey, Chris is always talking this. I remember when I did New York last year, he was like, yeah. um, what's up with his legs though? Like he's not doing nothing with his legs because my front double, I was just, you know, squared. You're just going to see yes. my expert. Yeah. Same thing with my front lat. Yeah. And then when I picked up my legs, somebody, I forget who it was. I think it was Bob. He was like, oh, look, there you go. Yeah. He lifted up his foot, you know? Yeah. But I know back in the day, you know, the, the 90s, Chris, Dexter, Flex, they all had that swag. So, you know, they were yeah. doing a belly roll on stage. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, it's different days now. Like Different, yeah. You know, yeah. I do something like that on stage. My woman might jump up there and kick my ass. <laughs> 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 Who are you stripping for? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Cremere did that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. All right. <laughs> Well, we'll wrap it up here, man. I appreciate it. Is there anyone who would want to give a shout out, your sponsors, any upcoming appearances, anything you want to mention? Oh, yeah. I mean, like I said, uh, you know, it's funny, too, because I, you know, I have my food sponsor, Chicken Pound. Yes. And, you know, they supplied me with enough to have for prep. Um, so that wasn't an issue. Um, Jed North was still sending me clothes, gym tires. So I was able to be comfortable. Dragon, you know, Dragon... Yes. So Dragon Former is my sponsor. Yeah. But they sent me to Brazil where Dragon Former Brazil is at. Okay. And they took care of me supplement wise and, you know, making sure they paid for everything that I needed. Yeah. And, you know, whether it's driving and massages to get done and all yeah. that. So awesome. yeah, the sponsors came through all the way. Like it, it was crazy. You know, Justin flying in. Yeah, know, man. He flew in for a week and he's yes. off season right now and he's doing stairs with me fasting, you know. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. So to have that and then I have my friend Theron who flew in too to push me through workouts like it was crazy you know um, my woman talking to me every day you know telling me hey this is hard you know if it was easy everybody would do it yes you know but it's not so the goofies are going to sit back behind a computer screen yes. you know <laughs> yes exactly you know, it's just motivating I'm like you damn right so yeah. but um yeah. yeah no I just feel like that alone and having that circle like I you know I talked about um that's a win yeah you know what I mean like I I would take that over anything any day so yeah. i mean and just like justin said you know if you want fast do it by yourself but if you want to go far do it together do with the team so yeah. i'm gonna rock with my team all the way yeah awesome and i see you post sometimes about i think your son and, and football or something like, oh, yeah. you want to talk about that a little bit like is your son into the sport or anything like that or what's oh it? yeah he uh right now they're doing flag football right now which i have to go get his uh cleats and gloves yeah. But uh, yeah, that's my oldest son. He does uh, football. He does basketball. Yeah. And that dude's cutting hair right now. He's a barber too. Okay. Awesome. You know, like he's cutting. He'll go to the shoe store we have out here and uh, he'll go cut grown man's, you know, hair, shape yeah. their beards and everything now. Yeah. And then uh, his younger brother, he's a, a boxer. Awesome. You know, so it's funny because you can see the personality I have in both of them. Yeah. You know, my oldest is more of my quiet, and, you know, sport and how can i make more money side mm -hmm. yeah that's where my youngest is my uh, the aggressive side i yeah. had you know the troublemaking side i had yeah. you know so it's crazy just seeing that you know unfold but he's doing he's getting ready he was going to do silver gloves uh last year but he ended up getting a boxer fracture so he had to miss that in vegas but um now he, he's in it like he's doing wow. his thing too Awesome. So your 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 sons are athletic and they're they're in the sports and stuff like that. So you're really pushing them. But do they do they realize how good you are and what you're doing in your profession? And they're like, do they follow with that? Did they ever oh, ask yeah. you about it? Um, yeah, they they were messaging. They message me every day. They yeah. 
yeah. um, asking him when am I going coming back because when I was in Brazil, or whatever. Yeah. But uh, you know, I was sending him um, videos, cool, or from you know what Dragon Whip posts, or yeah. I'll send him some my check ins or whatever, and uh, they're showing them off to their friends, you know. Awesome, cool. So it's it's funny, but um, yeah, like my oldest, he likes coming to shows. Like it's yeah, just things like he loves coming to shows, you know. So. Yeah. He's every time I've did Legion Sports Fest, he's been there. Um, or when I did Cal, he was there, and uh, somehow he finds his way on stage to hit a few that's poses, awesome. and that's someone awesome. always gets a picture of it. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he, he he's a fan of it. That's awesome. Well, man, I appreciate you you taking the time to come on the show. Um, I'm hoping you get into the Detroit Pro. I know you're going to kill it at the New York Pro, and I know you're going to get make your qualification for the Olympia and get into that top six. You can do it, man. So. Awesome. Awesome to see what you're doing. Guys, you appreciate you. Thank you. All right, right, man. We'll catch you on the next one. Yes. Take care.